Tim Leary. Well, it's a great pleasure for me to be here on this occasion. It's a, it's Later, you can talk. Right now, let him talk. Okay? <laughs> it's a great pleasure to be here, uh, Mr. Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have a good time, uh, <laughs> no matter what comes, right? Um, now, as far as uh, space and time and the future is concerned, uh, I think most of you know that I believe that uh, s the space you occupy uh, determines the time that you live in. If you uh, go back to the Middle East, uh, you're going back uh, 4,000 4, years, you're going back to your midbrain, and the reality that you have to deal with there is determined by the fact that you are there. If you're living, if you're having a discussion in Belfast, Ireland today, the fact we were there would mean that the key issue would be uh, shaking down Catholics and Protestants. So that um, to move into new space is the uh, uh, only way that new realities can be created and the fastest way that uh, future nervous systems can be activated. Now, Brian when, Brian, when you talk about space, you said it's dangerous and it's perilous and it's, uh, who's going to control it and it's going to last too long. You make it sound like LSD was described <laughs> ten years ago. Well. <laughs> <laughs> William, do you, do you want to say something? Well, I, uh, I feel that the, uh, the human race may well be in a state of neotony. And that means uh, simply that um, you take a tadpole that remains a tadpole and doesn't develop into a frog is in a state of neotony, or a uh, salamander that never um, drops its gills and gets out of the water. And that we are uh, stuck in this dimension of time. And we can't really uh, conceive of anything beyond that, but that space is something beyond that, which is inconceivable, uh, or difficult to conceive for people living in time. Uh, and the point is that time is a resource, and time is running out. That's why we have to go into space, just as the uh, fish had to leave the water when the pond started to dry up. <clears throat> um, well, space is a very tenuous word. Does it mean outer space or does it mean inner space? Or does it just mean space, like the fifth element? I tend to think that, you know, going places all over the place, thinking that you're going to go to one space or another, and change everything might work, but on the other hand, I think you have to change your mind to start with, and you don't have to go anywhere to do that. I think one of the things that's interesting about William's work is that he sees everything, as far as I can see, as an illusion, and wants us to understand what the illusions are about, who's making them, why we should have these illusions in the first place, and who stands to benefit by us having them. So that when you think about space, for me, when I think about space, I think about the space in those relationships. I don't think about outer space. I'm in outer space. This is outer space. It is the illusion of outer space anyway. So if anybody wants to, let me say that. Well, we're uh, two-thirds of the way from galactic center. And of course, from the viewpoint of any other star system, we definitely are in outer space. Uh, all the people uh, looking out at the stars tonight from other uh, worlds, uh, when they see ours out there, they say, gee, I wonder that little speck out there, I wonder if there are intelligent beings on blue, it. Blue, blue. We look pretty blue to all of them. I imagine we do. Mm. But... Uh, what did you say, Brian? We, look, we said, look blue to everybody in outer space. I, I said we're in outer space uh, from the point of view of anywhere else in the universe. Uh, I'd like to say something. 
We, we've, we've just had an opportunity to catch William Burroughs red-handed doing what he's been doing for the last few decades, uh, moving way ahead of us and kind of uh, quietly sitting in the future in a, in a very low-key, uh, sotto voce way he mentions neoteny. Well, uh, he's there, and I'm just suddenly discovering in the last few weeks that neoteny, or pedomorphosis, is, is, is the, now wait a minute, <laughs> is the hottest issue in evolution, is the number one tactic that the DNA code has always used, the egg wisdom has always used this tactic. If you want to evolve a species, what you do is you keep it from becoming adult. Uh, and Bill and I have read many of the same books and we could give you probably hours of illustrations of how uh, the, the dinosaurs, um, for example, uh, developed an adult species which was over-specialized and controlled territory. If Where is he? Keep going. <laughs> I'm, what, what I think is that time has to do with form. Time has to do with form. You are so old, therefore you have that form. I am so old, therefore I have this form. Something that is made quickly looks as though it's made quickly. Something that's slow looks handmade. Space has to do with ideas. Right. This is inside, that is outside. Everything in here is my idea. Everything outside of it is your idea. I don't like your idea. Why don't you listen to my idea? That's what I think space is about. So if we get involved with the idea, it's about territory, essentially. It's another ter territory.